sister. You see what it says. Let little f be a continuous function from 0, 1 to r. Let big f of x equal 1 over x times the uh, integral from 0 to x of little f of t dt for x in 0, 1 with other 0 and big, big f of 0 equal little f of 0. Then show this. Uh, let's see the proof. First, let's see what this means, okay? This is the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x squared times the integral from 0 to x of f of t d t squared d x. Well, let's see, this is the derivative of minus 1 over x. Uh, then we could apply the integration by parts. We would have minus 1 over x times the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt uh, yeah, all this square plus the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x times the integral from 0 to x of f of t uh, d t squared all this prime dx well but let's see this is equal to well, if you just uh, calculate this, we'll get minus f squared of 1. Well, plus the interval from 0 to 1 of 1 over x times this. Well, let's see what's this. This is 2 times f of x times the interval from 0 to x of f of t dt dx but uh, this is positive right then it's uh, then all this is negative this is just less than equal than than just this well, let's see this for a moment this uh, this times this one, this one is big F of x, right? Then this less than equal than the integral from zero to one. Okay, you could just take the two outside, and you would have f of x times big F of x dx, right? But you see here we could apply a short. And we would have, this is well, lesser equal than 2 times the square root of the integral from 0 to 1 of f of, uh, f squared of x, oh, dx, uh, times the square root of the integral from 0 to 1 of big F squared of x dx. But let's see what we've got. We've got that the integral from 0 to 1 of big F squared of x dx is less or equal than 2 times this. That is the integral from 0 to 1 of f squared of x dx times the square root of the integral from 0 to 1 of big F squared of x dx. But let's see, this is this squared, right? I'm going to just cancel f off one of these, one of these. Then we'll have a square root here. But now let's just take the square. 
you will have the integral from 0 to 1 of f squared of x dx is less or equal than 4 times the integral from 0 to 1 of little left squared of x dx. Right? But let's see, this is the same as this, right? They were done. Bye.